To a Fox 5 News alert, investigators are working to determine the cause of a deadly fire on 23rd Street in Southeast D.C. this morning. Two people died and another is in the hospital in critical condition. Let's get right out to Fox 5's David Kaplan, who's live at that scene. David, what's the latest? Yes, yeah, Sierra, good evening to you. I can tell you that a 34-year-old woman and a 64-year-old man are the ages of the two people who died in this fire. We're also told that an 85-year-old woman was taken to the hospital with what were characterized as serious and life-threatening injuries. I want to walk you through this scene. All these hours later, the fire call came in around 5.30. You can see caution tape still up. We're going to give you a, a look at this house right now. You can see some of the charring. All of the windows busted out. Out as this firefight was an intense one. We're told this house is attached to another home as well. We're told fire crews got here very quickly and were able to contain the fire to just the one side. And again, the initial call came in around 530 this morning. Fire crews said they were on scene in about three minutes and again began firefighting and rescue efforts almost immediately. A fire official tells Fox 5 they had the fire under control relatively quickly that they were able to get that 85 year old woman out, but did discover the body of the other two victims. D.C. Fire says this is a sad reminder to always keep fire safety front of mind, especially this time of year. Have a home escape plan. Uh, fires like these travel very quickly, and that's why the need for smoke alarms, working smoke alarms is critical, as well as having a knowledge of how you're going to get out of your home if a fire takes place. So to that end, D.C. Fire has announced they're actually going to return to this scene around 10 o'clock tomorrow morning to talk to neighbors about fire safety and make sure that they have everything they need. We also want to note there are two police cruisers that do remain at this scene right now. Unclear exactly why the cause of this fire does remain under active investigation. No identities of the victims quite yet. If we learn anything new, we'll be sure to pass the latest information along to you. Sierra.